Learning any computer programming language is easy. In fact, everyone who's watching this has learned many computer programming languages in their life. But learning to think a different way is very difficult. And that's what this talk addresses. It introduces the concepts of functional programming to developers who are accustomed to coding an imperative object-oriented style. Uh, but to that end, I don't want to show a lot of new syntax. And so most of the examples in this talk are in Java and Groovy, which is as Java-like as I can get. There's only one example in Scala and one in Clojure, because I'm focusing on the concepts in this talk, the things that make functional programming unique, and in fact show why you might want to start considering parts of this paradigm, because it indicates, uh, it's a leading indicator of how languages are going to change over time. Just like we now have languages with garbage collection, and it seems almost odd to have languages without garbage collection, very soon we're going to have languages with higher order functions. And it's going to be very odd to have languages without that capability because it allows you to get things done in a more concise, more expressive way and defer some of the details of how that happens to the runtime. So in this talk, I investigate a lot of ideas around how going to a functional programming paradigm changes the way you think about things like design, problem solving, how algorithms work, and actually change the way you think about things at a pretty fundamental level.